Hey everybody, it's Melissa. We got an unboxing video today. I don't know exactly what fragrance it is. I have a huge hunch, but even on the box that this was sent, it didn't have the... Okay, there it is. Parfums the Marley. But their brand name wasn't on the name of the box, so I was kind of like, is it? Is it not? But I heard that, you know, I would be able to smell it, so I can't wait. Perseus... Here we go. I don't, it has the notes on the back, but I don't want to look at the notes. I just saw it said notes. I didn't read that or anything like that. But from what I've heard, it's supposed to be a really nice freshy. And typically Parfums de Marley does really well at those sweeter fragrances. But I got to be honest, my favorite scents from them are the fresher ones. So I enjoy Meliora and, and Sedley a lot. So yeah, I'll show you guys. The unboxing is probably not very aesthetic but is this vid is this page about aesthetics not not really we get down to the point perseus i like the orange color very summery oh that's pretty check that out here we go Oh, that did not hit my skin. That hit my skin. Okay, I'll tell you guys when I'm smelling it. I smell it in the air. It smells very green right now. Okay, all right. Not the biggest fan of green fragrances. I would say my favorite green scent is Green Irish Tweed by uh, by Creed. That one, for some reason, I can't get enough of it right now. It does kind of smell like Elysium. If you haven't smelled Elysium, it's one of my favorite fragrances. It's very fruity, like grapefruit, juniper berry. Uh, on me, it smells like a pineapple lemon cocktail, right? But this isn't really smelling like, it smells more like Elysium Intense. Just in the air before I even put it to my nose and I don't like Elysium Intense as much as I like Elysium. Okay, now I'm smelling a little bit of grapefruit. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, it is fruity. It is green. It smells like straight up grapefruit and just like grass right now, you know? And by the way... In case it wasn't mentioned in, in the start of the video, this, this fragrance was a gift. So I appreciate Parfums de Marley from, for sending me a gift. But, you know, as always, I give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions on fragrances, regardless of if it's sent over as a gift. I mean, yeah, it's okay right now on my skin. Who knows? Maybe it's going to dry down to smell better than I thought. But this initial impression of it, it's going more Elysium Intense and... If you've seen my video of Elysium Intense, that's the last time that I wore it. I have I have not had the urge to throw that fragrance on. I think if you like Elysium Intense, you're probably going to like Perseus. If, if you like green, fresh fragrances, you're probably going to like this one a little bit. But it's not really a... It's not really hitting the way I wanted it to hit and you know what maybe it's also because i was hearing so much about this fragrance a lot of people were telling me oh you have to try it it's so good and i couldn't really avoid the uh, the positive reactions from it because it was happening in my comment section right and on my lives it was a constant thing about perseus 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 kind of i'm kind of a little bit let down i really i can't it's good like, it's good, but I'm not as in love with it as I initially thought it was. And I think the reason right now as to why is because when you're going to say, when you're going to tell me something smells like Elysium, you know that it's one of my favorite fragrances, right? And so that standard is already very high. Like, if I didn't come in with the initial bias i would say of okay my followers a lot of them have said that perseus smells like elysium then i probably would have had a different reaction to this review I, you know what 
I probably still would have liked it because y'all, this is, this is an easily recommendable fragrance. It's not something that I find to be bad. It's not something that's also daring at the same time, which I don't typically wear fragrances that are super polarizing and daring. Like I can easily recommend this fragrance to y'all and know that if you like the DNA, the, the vibe of what I'm describing, you're going to rock with it. And you know what? Let's just look at what the notes are. There is grapefruit. So bergamot, grapefruit, black currant, and then there's vetiver. Vetiver is probably the green smell, but then right next to it says green mandarin. <laughs> Geranium, dry woods, cashmere wood, ambergris accord. So maybe it has a bit of a woody dry down, but if it's a citrusy and woody, the first thing that comes to my mind is actually citroposé. Um, just hearing that but it is uplifting it's very it's 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 more um green dominant though so you know what here's what i'll say if you like greenly you're gonna like this fragrance if you're someone that will take greenly over sedley you'll like this one i'm more on the sedley side you guys know how much i love sedley and after smelling this right now i will still smell i will still say that i like sedley a little bit better it's it's right now, it's kind of got a little bit of an orange creamsicle vibe, which I'm starting to like a little bit more. And that's just in the air. Okay, we're, we're getting there. It's definitely a like. It's definitely a like. It's not a love right now. Um, kind of feel, do I like it right now better than Elysium Intense? I would say so by a, a smidge, a smidge better just smell wise. I don't know what the performance of these fragrances are as of yet. Um, but if you are a subscriber to my channel, then you know that for me, I would always take the best smell over the best projection, right? I would rather have a fragrance that smells amazing with not good performance. Cause I, there's so many ways to work around poor performance versus a mid fragrance that lasts, you know, I, I don't really care about wearing things like that for me. I want it to be a scent that throughout the day when I smell it on myself, I'm like, I smell so good. That's going to you know, drive me wild in that sort of way. You know, there's a lot of fragrances out there. So if you have the opportunity to try them, why not wear the scent that that gets you to act up a little bit, you know? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's good. It's, it's good. Not great as of right now. I'll I'll give you guys a full review of it when i when i see how it dries on my skin i'm also going to try applying this on other people just to see what it's like in passing if someone were to pass by me because this i do see it as a compliment getting fragrance i do know that if when i do apply this on somebody and they walk by i will note in my head that they smell good like it's a good smelling scent i think for all the people that are trying to build a collection um off of compliment factor then I could totally see this being used. It is more of a summertime, springtime fragrance. And the thing is, people always ask, well, can I wear that sort of scent in the fall, in the winter? I think you could wear Perseus basically all year round. I feel like you can do that with any fresh fragrance, but the only downside with wearing it in cold weather is that you might not get the best performance out of it. And you might be catfished with the longevity. Like if you're watching this video right now and you are in a cold state, or a cold country, and let's say I tell you, this is hypothetical, right? Let's say I tell you, okay, the fragrance lasted on me six hours, and then you go buy it and you apply it, you're like, that's a lie, it only lasted on me two or three hours. That's because of the environment around you, right? So just make note of that. But we are approaching summertime, I mean, we just got into spring right now. I do think it's a beautiful spring fragrance, but if you ever try, if you've ever tried this fragrance, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll also put, I have an affiliate link with Parfums de Marley in the comment section. If you guys do want to buy it off there, of course, buy wherever you want, buy where you're comfortable. I just got to disclose that if you do make a purchase off that link, I do get a slight bit of commission. So I know a lot of people would rather shop discount sites and stuff. So I will also have a discount site linked in the comment section and in this, the description box as well. I'm not sure if they have this yet because this is brand new. Um, but yeah, let me let me know your opinions on it. Give me your one through 10. Right now, I'm gonna say Perseus is about a five. That might piss a lot of people off, but I, I don't think, I think a five is still, 
it's still a good rating. I don't know as much about it yet, right? I do know initially, like, it's a good fragrance. It's not a bad scent. Um, but just based on, is this a fragrance that I would wear again? Probably... Like, right now, I'm I'm not really feeling it. Like, to, to be real with you, right? I know Parfums de Marly is one of the most popular niche brands. And in the fragrance community, people love watching Parfums de Marly reviews. They just love it, right? If I smelled this fragrance from another brand, um, I probably wouldn't... Like, I mean, you'd, you'd hear the, the same thing. It wouldn't be something that I'd be as ecstatic about. Oh, I gotta wear this again right? But because I know I'm going to get a lot of people asking about this fragrance and to really give it that full wear, I'm definitely going to be doing a full review since this was such a highly anticipated release. But right now, it would be on my list. Like if you guys are looking for spring lists, summer list fragrance videos with a lot of for the people that are always asking, give us something different, give us a different smell. I would probably put this on the list because I could put aside my initial bias to just know the fact that if my followers were to purchase this, they'd probably like it if you like Parfums de Marley and you like Greenly, right? You like green and you like grapefruit. The two Gs, all right? That's that's all you need. You like those two together, you're gonna like Perseus. If you don't rock with those two, you're not gonna like Perseus. That's how I feel. And for me, I like one of those things, but I don't like the other thing. So that's 50-50, which is a five out of 10, which basically is my rating for the fragrance. Wow, it's kind of crazy how that worked out. But, yep, let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate Parfums de Marley. As always, gotta keep it real with the followers. All right, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.